my has been in the public eye. Everything has been out on the table. Horrible things, great things, you know, joy and pain, all of it. And I researched it and I talked to a lot of people. I wanted to know, how do you feel? How do you feel? Not necessarily what can you eat. I, I didn't care about that. I wanted to know what does it feel like to lose 100, 100 or more pounds? You know, and they shared with me hope and a freedom. And I wanted it so badly, I could taste it. I lost, I got down to, uh, my lowest weight was 146 pounds. I remember going to the Gap and I squeezed into a, a skirt that was a size two. I got the six on easily, I squeezed in the four and I, I was like, give me the two, give me the two. <laughs> You know, I put it on and I screamed in the dressing room and the guy that worked at the Gap, he sometimes, you know, he tweets me and he's like, I was the guy who was in the, you know, the Gap with you when you squeezed the two. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I felt responsible for every overweight person in the world. And then the emotional part kicked in because I looked in the mirror and I did not know who the hell that person was. I had always been overweight. I looked in the mirror and I went, who in the hell are you? I literally did not recognize myself. I would walk down the street, I would look in the mirror and I wouldn't look at myself because it's very easy to say to someone, God damn, you look so good. You must feel so great, you've lost all this weight. And for me, in my experience, because I can't speak for any of you, but I can speak for me, it was like, thank you, thank you, but I didn't feel like worthy of it. I didn't own, I couldn't own it. I couldn't own, I don't know what I couldn't own. I couldn't own the feeling of the success because it was so foreign to me. I finally kicked obesity's ass and that was scary.